Hello, people of the internet. Uh, today, I'm gonna talk a little bit about something I've been struggling with. Um, so, normally, when, when we are, are creating art and we're creating art with other people, um, I know that we will look at other people's work and we'll judge it and they'll judge our work and we're going back and forth with that. And usually that leads to uh, uh, us being encouraged that our work is better or discouraged that our work is not as good um, as somebody that we're working with. Um, you know, so so we balance that back and forth. And I, I know that I've talked about this before, um, that we should not be comparing ourselves with our coworkers and feeling like, oh man, you know, he creates all this amazing work. That means that I'm not, I'm not as good as he is. And therefore I'm not as, as I'm not worth as much as he is. And so then that leads down a, a path of depression. And I, I know that that all, that all comes stemming from egos in general. Um, and I know as artists, um, we have a lot of ego. Um, we, we deal with a lot of ego. Um, and I, and I truthfully, I, I've thought about this a lot, you know, that, that I was, thinking about it, therefore I wasn't gonna have an ego about it. And I, I talk about it a lot. So I'm like, oh, you know, um, I know that these guys are gonna create great work and I'm not gonna have an ego. And, you know, I'm not gonna be uh, uh, thinking bad about myself or thinking higher of myself when I'm working with other people. And lately I've actually been dealing with that, um, dealing with ego. Um, I, I've been seeing some really great work being pumped out of some of the creatives that are around me. And, and I start really like being down on myself um, because I feel like I'm not, I'm not needed, that I'm not, that I'm not worth the, the um, effort, you know, um, because they're being called up to being asked to do these certain things at work um, and things that I might not be very skilled at, you know, um, and I'm looking at it and going, man, I wish I was doing that. Man, I wish I was helping with that. Man, I was, wish I was doing these things and then, and then I get down on myself. Um, and that is completely ego. That's 100% my ego. Because I feel like, oh, well, they're doing all these things and they never even talk to me about it. Therefore, they don't need me. And, and, and why do I even, why do I even care? And why do I, whatever. And so that leads down a, a path of negativity. You know, that, that I'm staring at other people's work and I'm staring at this stuff and I, I'm getting upset because I'm not involved in that process. Um, and I'm here to say that you need to let that go. I need to let that go. And, and I know that I'm not the only one that's dealt with this because I've talked to other creatives that have, have had this problem too. And they've had problems when I'm working on cool stuff, you know, when I'm working on these things and, and they come over and you can see that they're like, I wish I was working on that. And they get really bummed about the things that they're doing or not doing. Um, and that's all all ego and you have got to let that go and i know we talk about this a lot that you gotta you know let your ego go when you go into the doors and you just got to do the tasks that you're asked to do and, and you might be super talented um but you don't need to wear that out you know you don't need to be going around and just being like oh i'm higher you know I, i'm holier than thou you know um and i think that that that's completely stemming from the need and the want to be recognized as being better than somebody else. And I get that, that we're, you know, we're people that, that see flaws and we see pros and cons in every single person. And that though you try not to judge people and, you know, you're, we're playing this game of not judging others, but in our minds, we see better work and we see lesser work and we see value in some of that. And, and I know that I've been dealing with that a little bit personally because I've been dealing, you know, I've been doing some other things that, that, um, that are needed. You know, I've been training and doing some things, but I'm not creating art. And then I'm seeing art that's around me and I'm like, man, that is so good. I wish I was doing that. And why aren't they asking me to help do that stuff? And then I'm like, well, maybe I'm not good enough to do that. And that's, that has all, that's all negative. That's, that's not how people see you. That's not how people see me. That's not how people are going to see you when you're in that, that the middle of that stuff. And I, I'm here to say that all you really need to do is be concerned with the things that you're doing and lift up the people that are around you. So those people are creating great work. Just let them know that they're creating great work, you know, and you maybe ask them if they need some help or do those kind of things if you have the time. Um, but if not, don't, don't be concerned with that because you're good at what you do. And even if you don't think that you're good, you're trying to be better. And you're, you're gonna keep getting better and you're gonna keep getting better and you're gonna spend that time and those that effort and, and that's what's gonna make you better. And so hopefully this is 
something that you guys can see a little bit of the insight with me and some of the stuff that I've been struggling with lately. And hopefully it'll help you guys see it kind of the same way that you guys might be struggling with that too. And that you just need to let that ego go. And that, that it's not about you. It's about the process and what, who's doing what needs to be done for the project that they're working on. So maybe, maybe you were working on something else that was needed for something else. And, and they needed this person because of his skill set, and, and, uh, uh, not because you're not good at that. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for your time. I'll see you guys in the next video.